So another thing that I noticed when I read this was that students seem to really have a grasp on how to integrate quotes into the paragraph. Sometimes students will write a sentence, have a standalone quote, and then another sentence. And they don't do that here. Um, can you read this example uh, from the second half of the a paragraph which is posted? Reader's perception of an evil Grendel is further solidified when the poem reads, the monster's thoughts were as quick as greed or his claws. So that was one sentence. And the author of this essay introduces the uh, quote, but also sort of explains how the quote supports the topic sentence. Did the students come in to your class able to write like that? No, they did not. Um, I often, at the start of the semester, like to do a formative assessment where I give an in-class essay so that I can get a gauge of how the students are writing and what skills they're coming into my classroom. What did you learn when you gave that essay? Well, when I gave that essay, I realized that they could not introduce quotes very well. Um, I always require that they use quotes. Um, the in-class essay I used asked them to compare two translations of the same poem and I required that they use quotes, but I noticed they were doing what you said. They would maybe talk, introduce the quote, give the context, but then it would be a standalone quote, and then if I was lucky, they would explain it afterwards. So I noticed that you know they were putting the quotes in there because I knew that was part of their grade, but they weren't really explaining them or introducing them satisfactorily. And, introdu and having them be part of the sentence and really gives it voice, and it gives the uh, essay a real flow to it. So once you saw that, what type of instruction did you provide to make sure they were able to do that in their essay? So I often notice that students um, struggle with integrating quotes. So the best method I found, and I just found it by one day being frustrated and going to Google and Googling integrating quotes. And when I did that, I found this method called the hamburger method. Um, and I really liked the hamburger method because it came with a visual aid that I could explain to students. And it's a really um, easy sort of metaphor comparing quoting to a hamburger. So with this visual, it shows you that introducing a quote is like the top bun, the quote, because it's the most important part, is like the meat, and then you tie it all together with explaining it, which is like the bottom bun. And as I explained to students, you can stick a quote in there alone, but it's messy, just like a hamburger without a bun. Right. Um, and then also on this paper, I see lots of examples as well. So did you just give them this paper and have them apply it to their essay? or was there any other instruction to help them be able to do that? Well, as I said, I noticed they needed help with this after I assigned and graded an in-class essay. So I gave them their in-class essay back. I gave them the sheet. We talked about it in class. And then I asked them for homework to go back to their in-class essay, identify at least three times where they did not integrate quotes properly, and then go back, revise it using this method. I didn't make them rewrite the essay. I asked them to send me an email to post it um, through Edmodo rewritten sentences. So they just took chunks of their essay out and rewrote them. So you didn't have to read the whole essay over again. No. You only had to read specific paragraphs. So it was less work for you. And it's interesting that you sort of isolated this skill that was deficient based on your assessment and then retaught the skill or taught it for the first time. Um, as opposed to applying the skill to their big essay for the first time. And I think that's important because you know, adults and students sometimes have trouble thinking and learning multiple things at the same time. And here, the main thing you wanted them to learn about was analyzing the text. And you wanted them to apply that skill to the analyzation. But in order for them to do that right, they had to develop that skill. So you use something they already had learned, that already done, and sort of refined it and went back to it. So it wasn't a totally new writing. That also re-emphasizes the idea of rewriting mm -hmm. and going back and revision and sort of fine-tuning things and also using the feedback you provided. So thank you for that. Um, the other thing we noticed was transitions and we'll talk about that in our next segment.